What's up guys? It's Susie Bullock from HeyGrillHey.com. And if you're watching this video, that means we already have the most important thing in common. We both love good barbecue, which is perfect because here at Hey Grill Hey, my whole goal is to help you make better barbecue so you can feed the people you love and become a backyard barbecue hero. Today, we're gonna make grilled salmon with a lemon dill seasoning. This recipe serves four people. It takes about 17 minutes total to cook, five minutes of prep time, 12 minutes out on your grill. Let's get started. Here's what you'll need. Four salmon fillets. I like to cook these with the skin on. They hold up better on the grill. You can use Atlantic salmon, king salmon, or wild caught sockeye salmon. All of them work beautifully with this dish. For the lemon dill seasoning, you need four tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of dried dill weed, two teaspoons of kosher salt, two teaspoons of black pepper, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and the zest of one lemon. First, we need to make our lemon dill seasoning. This isn't a dry seasoning, it's actually a wet seasoning, almost like a paste. So we start with four tablespoons of olive oil. To that we add our two tablespoons of dried dill, two teaspoons of kosher salt, two teaspoons of black pepper, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and the zest of one lemon. Now save your lemon after you zest it, cut it in half, and we're gonna take it out to the grill with us because I like to squeeze fresh lemon on the salmon while it's cooking. Just mix it up with a spoon to combine. All right, put a little spoonful of the seasoning on each salmon filet, and then just use your fingers to massage it all over. Dill and lemon are both really bright flavors, which pairs perfectly with salmon because it has a lot of fattiness and a lot of richness. My kids love this seasoning because it's not overpowering and they're really into salmon because it's a really mild tasting fish. It's a great intro to seafood for kids or people who maybe think they don't like seafood or they just haven't had a ton of it. We've got our grill preheated the overall temperature is about 400 degrees, but what's unique about this cooking method is we're using two zone cooking. That means I have coals on one side of the grill, but not on the other. So we're essentially reverse searing the salmon. We're treating it like a really high quality steak. We're gonna start the salmon on this side of the grill with no coals, close the lid, and let it slowly rise in temperature. The salmon's been on for eight minutes. We're gonna move it over to the high temperature side of the grill. This is gonna crisp up the skin on the bottom, render the rest of the fat, and give us some nice golden brown edges on the inside of our salmon. <laughs> if your salmon starts to flare up from the fat rendering, just slide it a little bit back from the heat. And at this point, I like to squeeze it with this fresh lemon juice. They smell so good. You can really smell as the fat starts to render down and hit those coals and send those bursts of smoke back up at you. That's what makes grilled salmon taste so good. A lot of salmon recipes will tell you to cook until the fish is opaque or until it flakes easily with a fork, but I found the best way to do this is with an internal thermometer. The best internal temperature for salmon is 145 degrees Fahrenheit. It's only gonna take a couple minutes over the high heat to hit that, so don't walk away from your grill. 145, these are ready to come off. Be really careful because they will be flaky. So just slide your tongs underneath. These look so good. You can see just right along these edges, it started to turn a nice golden brown. That'll give you the crunch that you're looking for. These are ready to go inside and hit the dinner table. Do it. Let me know what you think. I like this part down here. The belly? Mm-hmm. Mm. Dude, you can't beat that on the grill. Like, don't cook it any other way than on the grill, please. All right, you guys. Todd and I are gonna polish off the rest of these salmon fillets. We hope you guys make this recipe at home. If you do, 
leave a comment, let us know how it turned out for you, or even better, snap a photo, post it online, and use the hashtag HeyGirlHey. That way Todd and I can check it out and cheer you on on your way to becoming a backyard barbecue hero. See you next time. They're so tender. Yep.